Yo, what's up everyone? Kiro's here and today I'm going to show you how to get the Nano Protective Film Strength Upgrade. Now this is actually really simple to do and it's something you should do immediately at 2.5 and you probably don't even need this video. It's that straightforward. But just in case you need it, I made a couple guides on where you can get some of these materials. So let's go ahead through it. If you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, let's go. All right, 2.5 is here and unfortunately it's extremely short. You're going to get a new area called the Dark Cave Zone, which consists of literally about 10 chests and one new boss. We'll take you under an hour, probably under 15 minutes to clear this. Not even joking, especially with the new world level. You just keep it at 10 and just one shot the boss. But as you go into this cave, you will die in this cave, unfortunately, because you don't have the strength upgrade. So we need to go to our good friend Aki. If you go back to the main city, you can go to Aki where you got the original nano protective film from, and she will have a new quest for you. Now that quest is pretty simple compared to the last one, but she's going to require you to get a decent amount of materials from Marzord ores to uh, this to pressure control units to a to C mains and red shells. Now some of those are really easy to get, some of them a little bit harder. So let's talk about the Marzoid ores now. Now you can actually go back to the disorderly lost city and use some of those, but you've probably already have blown through those. So there are a few in the underwater area. So as you see on the map here, they're most mostly going to be in the secluded rock area. I've marked on the map five locations where all 10 of them are. So if you port to the first teleporter, there'll be a few underground in uh, the cave area that you're seeing on screen. And then there's going to be most of the other ones are going to be above ground where you will see them around the ring to get into the secluded zone. Finally, there's a couple more that require you to go to essentially the center of the second zone and find a cave on the left-hand side. And there's going to be like two or three rocks in there, and that should get you all 10 that you need to have. So hopefully that did help you out. All right, that brings us to the pressure control units. Now, these are really easy to get. Well, I should say you probably already have them, but there's three different ways you can get this. And the last way is my preferred way to get this. You can get this from the com combat simulation device which are kind of like the gold cubes from the disorderly lost city you have to bring some friends in you may need some help doing these but this might be a good opportunity for you to complete doing those the other way to do it is to find the lost patrol guards which fu uh, funny enough i haven't even completed un unless you've really been a completionist in 100 this now you can find both of these if you at least have one pressure uh control unit you can find all this in your uh, inventory and it'll tell you exactly where they are so that's a really nice feature but the way I like to get it is just through the research you've probably already done the bottom line of the research if you've been uh, farming any of the stuff to use your energy so you probably are already sitting on them as the entire bottom row as you can see here has all the ones that you need and you should probably do it anyways because you should progress onwards next up we need the sea mains if you guys want to get sea mains my favorite place to farm this is right underneath inners you essentially teleport to inners or you teleport to the third area and if you put teleport to the third area swim all the way up if you teleport to inner swim all the way down and there's a nice congregation of them there you can find anywhere between i think about nine to twelve of them so this is a good opportunity to farm some other materials as well like the turtles um, and, and a few of the other shells that you need and, uh, just go through that a few times and I'm sure you'll have it in no time. And then finally you have the red shells. Now the red shells are kind of a pain because you bounce off the bottom floor all the time, but it's in the third zone. You essentially just want to sweep the outer uh, area. Anytime that you see red, uh, coral, that's where they're really going to be. And it should probably take you about 10 minutes to uh, grab all those. If you don't already have them. All right, cool. Now we just got to go back to Aki, turn in all the materials, and she will give us the upgraded strength protective film. Yes, we did it. Luckily, it's only one mission, so that's super easy. Now you can go into the cave that will take you 15 minutes to clear it to get to the new world boss. By the way, big tip, you should use all your gold ciphers on this new world boss because there's they're not going to be useful in 3.0. And I hope you guys enjoyed 2.5. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy and fist bump from me to you.